Hi guys, uh, for our first video we're going to be making a menu system with Flash. Uh, start off by uh, drawing a square in the middle of the page. Rename it into, uh, make it into a button. Uh, the dimensions of it don't, doesn't really matter. And rename it into hidden. Uh, press enter and enter it put all the contents of it into the hit frame so that it wouldn't be seen so the up down and over uh, frames would be empty so that you would have this um, green box and then you can just erase it off the stage because it will be in our library and that's where we'll need it for now um, after that's done we can start working on our um, actual menu um, I did that by just drawing a square in the middle of the stage just to know to have a perspective on what it will look like and clicking F8 on it to make it into a movie clip because we need it to be a movie clip. We're gonna rename that into menu. Um, we enter it and we are going to change layer 1 into decorations And we're also going to add a frame and call that label. We're going to drag them into frame 20, putting a keyframe there, so F6, F6. And we're going to go to label. We're going to put a name down for it. We're going to call it shown. We're going to go to our last frame, or frame 20 and call that secret. We're going to go to frame 40 and open it up by pressing F5 so that we can see what we've uh, written and makes it easier for us. We're going to go back to the first frame and go to the actions panel and stop. Put a stop action on it. Uh, this will make the movie not run so that it would stay on the first frame because that's where we needed it at the beginning. Um, We're going to make the rest of our uh, menu. Um, you can't see it that well, but I'm on frame 20 right now. Uh, I didn't really care about uh, being so neat, so I just drew a box and put some lines in there. And let's make that even. Okay. We're going to go and make a new frame called text. That's where we're going to put the names of each buttons down in. We're going to also put a keyframe on frame 20 in that layer. We're going to make another layer called function. Uh, that's where we're going to put our hidden button in. We're also going to put the hidden button in two other places. But uh, for our function, we just use uh, an invisible button and that will take care of everything. You can do this in individual buttons themselves, but this is just to save uh, me drawing new stuff. We're going to write menu on our text screen. Wow, okay. We're going to change the color and make it smaller because it wanted to be, very, wow, 48, because we want it to be very huge. Um, we're going to center that in the middle try to make it look nice at least a little bit. Um, now we're going to go to our last page. We're going to control shift V that so that it would uh, paste in place so that it would look the exact same as the previous frames. We're going to come in our sub menus and put in options put in text on them. I'm going to call this option 1. Copy and paste them four times or three times actually and just rename them into option 2, 3, and 4. Okay.
We're going to go to our functions panel. We're going to go in our library and drag out the hidden box that we made earlier. We're going to put it on the center of the stage or anywhere on the stage. Then we're going to go resize it into the shape of um, our menu button. Trying to get it the full size of this menu button will make it um, a lot better. Okay, and then we're going to copy and paste it. There's not really a reason for that, but I just like having it there. We're going to copy it again, bring it back up here. We're going to match these in between the lines so that we would have an illusion of buttons in between each of those menus. Uh, you don't want to really, well, I guess you would make those animated by just uh, changing the background color, but you don't want to like have like. Uh, drop down shadows like to make it look like keyboard buttons and stuff like that because that's too much for just a menu um, anyways you can just continue down now uh, editing these until they're all the right size now note that I put all these inside the functions layer I'm gonna lock it and make it invisible so that it doesn't bother my eyes too much. We're going to make a new layer and we're going to name it to we're going to name it to hidden we're going to put it under everything for now. I'm sorry, we're going to name it to bridge we're going to drag hidden into the field again we're going to put it in between now uh, the decoration and the space between the, in the decoration the space between the menu and the submenus this is for our next uh, layer that we're going to make we're going to put a box under this whole thing that will cover everything we want to make that bridge uh, like big enough to cover just a little bit bigger than the actual distance between the submenu and the menu and I like to get under the limit just because sometimes people go on an angle to go to option 4. We're going to make a new layer called on out. We're going to put it under everything and it's very important that this layer is under everything. We're going to drag hidden from the library again and we're going to make it bigger than everything on our stage. Um, just like that. We're going to open up the actions menu and we're going to put in our first actions. We're going to type on rollover, go to and stop, shown. So that would be our first layer. We can also just use number one, but I like to have uh, labels for them just in case. You know, just in case. Now we can go back to our first frame and uh, make the button work. I'm going to select the uh, functions, unlock it first, select functions, uh, the box that we put there. We're going to put in a simple function of on rollover, go to and stop secret. That basically man makes the animation of our button very simple and uh, pretty much done. Now, on frame 20, uh, where the functions are, that is when we can put all our uh, function and stuff and this is how we can test it out uh, when the mouse rolls all out of everything uh, the menu closes okay that's pretty much uh, that's all there is to it you can message me or PM me if you need help with anything and uh, I'll be glad to help you out. Thanks.